Okay, so in this demo, what I want to show is how easy it is in Azure to create a virtual machine that's got Docker installed. And to demonstrate that, I'm going to be using one of these Azure Quick Start templates. Um, if you don't know this GitHub repository, I can highly recommend it. It's basically just got loads of ARM templates demonstrating how to um, create all kinds of different Azure services. Um, as you can see, there's there's dozens of these things. It's a great way um, not only to just experiment with Azure services, but also to learn about how ARM templates are structured. And the one that we're going to be deploying in this demo is um, Docker WordPress MySQL. And this is just going to basically deploy an Ubuntu server that's got Docker installed on it. And it's actually going to install two um, or start running two Docker containers, one with WordPress and one with uh, MySQL. So it, it gives us a nice little demo to see this up and running. And if we have a quick look at the ARM template itself, I won't go into a huge amount of detail here, but um, ARM templates allow you to um, customize various parameters, um, which is useful. Uh, if you want to be able to do different deployments with different settings. So here we can provide the password we want and the username and so on. Um, and if we scroll down, we'll see there's going to be a storage account. This will um, contain the virtual hard disk, a public IP address, which of course we need if we want to connect to this, um, virtual network, network interface, all the kind of usual things that you need with a virtual machine in Azure. And here we'll see uh, the virtual machine itself. It's going to be based off of the Ubuntu disk, which was set as a variable up here. Um, so the Ubuntu server, and we're going to have the Docker extension installed, which is also defined um, down here. And virtual machine extensions basically make it easier for you to configure them in different ways. And the Docker extension allows us to provide a Docker Compose, um, just like a regular Docker Compose file, specifying the images um, and the containers that we want to run. So we're going to have one container called DB, which is the MySQL image, and we're going to have one container called WordPress. As I say, we won't go into a great detail in this demo of, of what's in this um, particular AOM template. Really what I want to show is just how easy it is to deploy. And one of the nice things that all of these samples have got is a deploy to Azure button. And basically this will jump us straight into the Azure portal. So I'll just click it. We'll jump into the Azure portal and it will give it the URL of that ARM template so that it can immediately prompt us to do a deployment. And so you can see here, um, I can choose what subscription I want to use. If you've got more than one subscription, make sure you pick the right one. Um, it's a good idea. It's a good idea to create a new resource group. So I'll just call this Docker ARM demo. North Europe is fine. The new storage account name, well, let's call it Docker ARM demo. See if that's free. Hopefully it is. Um, MySQL password. Let's come up with something. Ooh. Doesn't like my password. Why doesn't it like the password? Well, it's got to be longer than that. Okay. That will do. DNS name for public IP. Let's try Docker on demo again. And I'll agree to the terms and conditions. And the reason it says purchase is this is not going to be free, although it may well um, fit within the cost of your particular um, Azure subscription, I've got a certain amount of free credits a month. So this isn't actually going to cost me anything and I'll tear it down once it's done. So once I click purchase, it's going to validate that those parameters that I entered are indeed um, usable. I don't 
really need to save that password. And it's going to be going off in the background. If I look down here, deployment in progress, um, it's going to go off in the background. It's going to deploy all of the stuff that it needs to do that. And you can see down here some of the bits and pieces that are getting deployed at the moment. There's the public IP that has already been deployed. It's deploying the storage account and it's making the network security group. And if we refresh this, we should see that it's slowly working its way through various things, it's still creating the storage account. Um, and we failed. It's a bit bad, isn't it? It won't let me create that size in North Europe. Okay, so let's take this demo in a slightly different direction. That Docker Arm demo, there's my resource group created a bunch of stuff, um, but it never actually got as far as creating my virtual machine. So I am going to, I'm going to basically delete the whole resource group. I have to type the name of the resource group in, which is Docker Arm Demo, and delete it. Right, let's um, try it again. So we'll go back to here and take to deploy to Azure. This takes me into the Azure portal. I need to create my resource group. Um, it's a good idea to create a resource group, makes it much easier to um, clean up once we're done. So I'll call this Docker Arm Demo. It doesn't like it because of my previous failed demo and my previous failed demo failed because it wouldn't let me create a virtual machine of the requested size in North Europe. So I'm going to try West Europe for the next demo. Docker um, demo two. A password. A another password. Docker arm demo two, just so that it doesn't conflict with my previous failed attempt at this. I agree to the terms. I'm going to press purchase because um, it is potentially going to cost me some money, although this is easily going to fit within my free tier. I'm not going to keep this running for very long, um, so it's not going to cost a lot. But let's click purchase and that's going to go off and start creating our deployment and hopefully this time it's going to succeed as I said last time um, this failed because it couldn't create a virtual machine of the requested size in North Europe it's um, a failure that I've not actually seen before um, and what we can do is we can see it um, slowly creating various bits and pieces it's already created four of the bits it needs to create let's refresh this again here we are, now we're creating the VM. And this is probably going to take a little bit longer to create because not only has it got to set up the virtual hard disk and the VM, but once that VM is up and running, it's going to install the Docker extension on it and run a Docker Compose to create those WordPress and MySQL containers. And this is actually something that can occasionally fail as well because when it um, starts those containers, it's going to create the MySQL and the WordPress container. And the WordPress container can fail because the MySQL container isn't up and running quickly enough. And of course, WordPress needs to be able to talk to the MySQL container. So sometimes um, when I've done this particular ARM template in the past, I've needed to SSH into the virtual machine and restart the WordPress container now that the MySQL container is up and running. But let's refresh and see if this has um, got any further. I might pause the recording here just to um, save some time. We've been going for a couple of minutes already. Um, it could easily be several more minutes. Oh, it thinks it's done. It thinks it has created the virtual machine. 
Um, however, we've not actually finished deploying yet because we need to, as I say, do the Docker extension. So here we go. Here's the Docker extension um, working away. I'll keep refreshing, but I, I expect this will take a little bit longer and potentially fail, as I said, because if the um, if the WordPress container tries to start when the MySQL container is not ready, that will um, that will cause the WordPress container to just stop. So I'm just going to pause the recording here. And good news, it's just succeeded. So it did take five minutes to complete that setup. Um, but if we navigate to this resource group, let's close this, we'll see we've got all of those things that were defined in the ARM template. And let's have a look at my public IP because that's how we're actually going to um, get to this. So if I copy that Docker Arm Demo West Europe Cloud app, and let's paste and go. Here we can see we've got a WordPress up and running. So continue and Docker um, demo. And oh, we have to provide an email address. Um, so I won't I won't carry on showing you this, but as you can see, it's pretty obvious that we have successfully created WordPress. Um, just by running that um, AOM template. And of course, when we're done with this, if we go back to our resource group, so it, this is our resource group. Um, once we finish testing this out and we're happy with it, we can just delete the whole thing. Um, it will want me to type the name of this resource group, Docker AIM Demo 2. And these are the seven things that will be deleted. That's fine. Click delete and that whole thing is going to go away. So that's how easy it is. As I said, I did have a failure on the first attempt because it wasn't able to create a virtual machine of that size in, in North Europe. I'm not sure why that was, um, but it does make it very easy for you to just spin out a deployment of your resources um, using the ARM templates.